sorry I couldn't come straight away. Every child in the neighbourhood's decided to contract measles. That's the trouble with modern youth, no discipline. <laughs> yes. Well, now, Mr. Good, what have you been doing to yourself? Striking myself repeatedly in the back with a 16-pound sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. GP's rhetoric. That's a silly thing. He was just sitting down, stood to get up, and ping. Or, as I put it, ow. <laughs> uh-huh. And what had you been doing just before that? Bit of digging. Just the odd eight hours. Uh-huh. And where precisely is the pain? Oh, uh, you better point, Barbara. Just under there. Oh! <laughs> right. Let's have a look at you. Uh. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh, what are you doing? No, don't. Oh, oh! Oh! Ow! Ow! Uh, oh! 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 Uh-huh. That's an I see. I see. Agony? Uh-huh. I see. I've got a bad back, haven't I? Yes, I'm afraid you have. It's not serious. It's not a slip disc or anything, but uh, you've pulled the muscles on either side of your spine. Just getting up out of a chair. Have I married a seven-stone weakling, Doctor? No. As a matter of fact, your husband has a very fine musculature. See? For a man of his age? <laughs> now, get him to take one tablet three times a day. They're painkillers. Otherwise, Mr. Good, stay as immobile as possible on a hard surface. A nice soft bed will be of no use to you at all. I'll come and see you in seven days' time. I can't lie here for seven days. I don't think you'll find that you can do much else. What's wrong with the painkillers? Don't they work? Of course, but they won't make you mobile. Well, give me some mobile tablets, then. <laughs> don't tempt me. <laughs> Seven days. Ridiculous. Oh. Uh. 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 Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Testing whether that doctor knew what she was talking about. And she does. Well, of course she does. Now, stay where you are a minute. What are you doing? I'm making up your bed down here. You'd be much better off on the floor. Oh. Well, I can hardly give you a fireman's lift upstairs, now, can I? This is ridiculous. What did it have to happen now for? Well, the same reason that toast always lands butted side down on the carpet, I suppose. <laughs> well, I'm not standing for it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Look, love, there's no point in getting shirty. I mean, it's a nuisance, that's all. Instead of the two of us taking three days to get that stuff in, I'll have to do it by myself and take a week. Yeah, well, what am I supposed to do? Watch you from the back door for my baby bouncer? No, you're supposed to do what you're told and get better. Now, come on, get into bed. It's too early to go to bed. No, it isn't. I've got a hard day's work tomorrow. Come on, get into bed. Oh, right. Oh, careful. Oh! Oh! Never even gave me a sweet. <laughs> oh, that doctor. Doctor always gives you a sweet. You're going to be a real bundle of joy for the next week, aren't you? It's my harvest. Well, it's mine too. So let me get some sweet so I can pick it. Stop being so unflappable. Well, then get off my arm. I can't. <laughs> no! Oh. oh, dear. It really hurts, doesn't it? Somewhat. Well, I'll probably better tomorrow morning. Yes, well, we'll see. Uh, now then. Uh, is there anything you want? No, thanks, love. Oh, dear. There we are. No. Uh, oh, 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 careful. Oh, dear. Good night. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can move out, that's all.
you can shut up as well. Good morning, my little stiff. <laughs> How are you this morning? Uh, um, oh, uh, it's much... Oh! The same. <laughs> Look, if Andy is any good. Oh, yes, thanks. Unless you've got a vulcanized roll on, you can lend me. Oh. Look, there's no point in you getting up. You won't be able to do anything. Uh, at least I could stand on the touchline and cheer you on. Now, get up, get up! Oh, you're not going to let me help you, are you? Look, I, I must do this by myself. Right. Uh, now, take it slowly. There's no other way. <laughs> I could sleep inside a drum with somebody banging it these days. Now, how do you want them? Boiled, fried, scrambled, coddled, or raw? I'd better see if they've laid any first. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Mind you, that storm last night, it probably made them pop out by the dozen. Yeah. Oh, Tom! Well, that's it then. Make much difference, will it? We've really had it. Oh, come on, that's not my hero talking. That's not the man who water skied a full ten yards on Stain's Reservoir. <laughs> I'm not kidding, love. Oh, come on, Tom, what's a bit of mud? I like mud. I've always wanted to spend a week wallowing about in mud. <laughs> That's the point. We haven't got a week anymore. What? If we don't get that stuff off the ground in two or three days' time, the crop will simply rot and bang goes next year's food. Oh, I can manage. You can't. There's no way you can clear all that up by yourself. No way. And I'm bloody useless. Look at me. The walking dead. <laughs> if only Jerry were here. Yes, that's what we need. More manpower. Yeah? Where are you going to get it from? NATO? <laughs> no. The pub. Hey, that's an idea. That is an idea. I mean, they're all our friends, aren't they? Yes, they are. And people always help out in the crisis. I mean, like the old spirit of the Blitz. Yeah. Dig for victory. The Land Army. Stafford Cripps. Winston Churchill. Natty Taylor. Who's Natty Taylor? <laughs> this bloke used to sleep in our area show. <laughs> so, you see, we wouldn't ask you unless it was really important. So, if you could just pitch in and help, we would be ever so grateful. What'd you say? Please? Good Lord, is that the time? <laughs> if only you'd chosen another day, Barbara. George. Yes, well, I think it's a good idea. We'll talk over it later on. Oh, Molly, you're coming here. Where have you gone to? Molly? Our day. I could use you when it comes to calling time. <laughs> Marvellous, isn't it? The old spirit of the Blitz. All it means to that lot is a large gin! I made four pots of tea for the workers. I hope it'll be enough. More than enough. Oh. They're not all coming, are they? No. How many? Less than one, actually. Oh. <laughs> Spirit of the Blitz? Oh, I've done that. Here you are. Got your painkillers. Oh, thanks. A cup of tea. No, thank you. 
Oh, look, I used a month's ration on that. We've got two pots each to get through. Mm. So come and have a break. I tell you what, we'll take it in the other room and watch the space where our television used to be. No, no. It's shoulders to the wheel. Where are you going? I've got a couple of tons of spuds to get in. Well, I'm not on your own. Now, you sit down or I'll kick your sticks from under you. But it's futile. <laughs> Don't you call me futile. You just watch my dust. It started raining again. Well, watch my mud, then. <laughs> That's my girl. 